human beings' fantasy with robots have spanned centuries. From being a part of a fictional story to being a significant part of our lives, robots have helped the mankind lead a life of convenience. The dawn of 21st century revolutionized the way we think of what a robot can do. Today, we have programmable robots that vary from microscopic scale to the macroscopic scale, performing their assigned duties. But neither did they have a life, nor were they able to live one. In 2020, a team of scientists and researchers from the University of Vermont and Tufts University created the world's first living robots called as the Xenobots. Derived from the stem cells of the African clawed frog, these xenobots are less than a millimeter in width, can walk and swim, and have the power to heal themselves. Xenobots can also survive without food for weeks and can work together in groups, which is revolutionizing, given its size. However, that does not make them living organisms. Are you confused? Don't be. In simple words, these synthetically developed tiny particles of life are neither a traditional robot, nor known species of animal, but a new class of artifact. More like a living, programmable organism that can work for us. The first findings of Xenobot research were published on January 13, 2020, in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. According to the team, these tiny bots can push a payload to a specific target and demonstrate high efficiency in healing themselves in cases of profound damage to their microscopic bodies. Joshua Bongard, a computer scientist and robotics expert at the University of Vermont, who co-leads the research, predicts that these living robots could be a big boon to medicine. Because they are made of living tissue, they will naturally decompose, unlike conventional machines made of metal or synthetic materials. And because they can move and even transport objects, they could potentially be inserted into the human body. As weird as that might sound, it could be the next big thing in the field of medicine. The research team published an update to the research in the journal Science Robotics on March 31, 2021. The new studies indicate an update to the previously designed robots, and the new variants are being dubbed as Xenobots 2.0. Yes, the updated Xenobots now come with an enhanced firmware that enables them to travel faster, navigate different environments, and have longer lifespans than their previous edition. They can now self-assemble a body from a single cell, they do not require muscle cells to move, and they even demonstrate the capability of recordable memory. The updates are big, but the size is still small. Genius, isn't it? Anyway, the concept of creating synthetic life forms may be exciting, but is equally concerning. It incites fears of intelligent living robots, of new forms of life, that may one day threaten the existence of humanity. The creators themselves agree that this fear is reasonable. There's also an ethical aspect to this research, and to the future possibility of producing masses of living robots designed only to do our bidding. Unlike the synthetically constructed technologies, living systems tend to resist adopting the new behaviors imposed on them. So, is it justifiable to create organisms designed solely to serve other organisms? And what's to stop less principled researchers from using human stem cells to create a different kind of living robot?